Hey guys, welcome back for another video. And as you can tell from the title, we are going to go over what I got in my Sephora VIB haul. Now, let me just say, first of all, that I got this in the store. The package is not here yet that I got online, but I will let you guys know what I got. I tried these items yesterday. I filmed a video, hated it, okay? I was like, I'm not putting that up. But I'm glad that I did that because one of the products in here broke me out. <laughs> but I know which one and we're gonna talk about it. Let's get into the video. Before we get into it, I would love for you guys to subscribe to the Melissa Q channel. Yes, we have fun. Just started a new series called Courageous Conversations. Definitely tune in. Hit the notification bell because it's going to let you know that I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And Courageous Conversations, I believe, will be on Sundays at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I think I'm going to use Sundays as that day just to have that Courageous Conversation because I posted the first one at that time. But there will be time stamps down below just so you can pass all the jibber jabber but on this channel we do reviews we do haul reports which means that i'm going to come back and let y'all know about these products we'll probably do some try-ons and all that kind of stuff but i am streamlining a lot of my content so it's going to be streamlined but let's jump into the haul and then i'll tell you guys what i got if you want to look and see this look of me recreating this look from my last video definitely check out my second channel Melissa Missy Q memoirs I'll leave a my channel and my link down below that one has my project pans um, and if you don't know about project pan I explained it over there it's just using up your makeup and kind of like tracking your progress seeing what you like and um, really it helps you purchase um, I think make thoughtful purchases in terms of your beauty products at least it helps me but um, I have like BTS a lot of behind the scenes on that a lot of vlogs and um, that's happens over on the second channel on this channel it's a lot of reviews and my courageous conversations a lot of hair natural hair content that's what you guys love over here and beauty and skincare so let's hop into this again timestamps are down below and the first thing I'm going to pull out is the Fenty. This is the Gloss Bomb Universal Luminizer. This is in Fussy. Now I talked about this in my Sephora VIB. I did a wish list and this was on it. So I picked up Fussy. I already had the Universal Gloss Bomb and um, I have this one now in Fenty Glow. That was the shade. Now I have Fussy. So this one's more pink. That one's more neutral, warm, more on the peachy tone. Fussy is more on the pink. So I'm really excited about having this because I'm almost out of the Fenty Glow. Another thing that was on my wish list was the Bravo Conditioner. I have gone through like two of those and I am on, this is I think, this is the second one. I have a backup. There are certain things I do have backups of this I don't want to be without so I picked up another one of these the other thing that I purchased was the Kush mascara and I picked up the mini I want to see how I like this I love mascara I really like mascara a lot and they had great things to say about this one this is not the waterproof this is in the shade boom and um, this is the Kush mascara by milk and I also picked up this is the product that broke me out I, I got a foundation but before the foundation I picked up I'm sorry if you hear background because I have my window open and it's really really hot here so excuse the sound but this is the pro slanted buffing brush now if you picked up a foundation during the sale today is the last day of the sale I'm actually gonna have to take this foundation back because it broke me out I'm gonna show you the bumps that were on my forehead and I can immediately tell when something breaks me out I did not use anything else different but this foundation and a lot of times I try to use when I use something like this I use already what I love and what I like and I only change one thing that way I can pinpoint what it was I know it's that foundation it this one is the pro slanted buffing in 80 
88, the number 88 from Sephora. Now this is supposed to give you more of a full coverage look. You put it into your, you actually press the foundation into your skin and then you can buff. This is a buffing brush. You can use this with liquid or powder, but I got this for half off. I decided to pick up a brush. It was not on my wish list, but because of the foundation, I was able to get this half off. Now. I'm taking back this foundation i might get the anastasia that's what i have on my face today i am doing a wear test this is the kevin aquan foundation balm i saw mel thompson try this and i was so excited about getting this i got this in f10 it does come with a brush and this is how it looks reminds me a lot of the chanel bronzer cream bronzer y'all i did not like this I did not like this. I love the initial look of it, but it gave a white cast and um, it was too light. I don't let this fool you of how it looks in the pan, but y'all just to the initial the first time I, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. And a lot of times some people would say, oh, well, just try it. Use it for a little while. Mm -mm. This broke me out right around the forehead area and um, I still I saw like those little white bumps <sighs> no this gives full coverage and I do not recommend this for dry skin don't recommend this for dry skin I am going to do a full review on this just because I, I'm not a full review I'm gonna do a first impression I feel like I know enough about this product to do that so it's a no okay but um, no, I did not like this and I wanted to let you guys know that I don't recommend it for me. If you like full coverage, I feel like that this is great if you have, if you're oily, if you have acneic skin, this will cover your sins. It's really great. The brush is great. It's just not, I'm not saying that this is not a good product. This is just not a good product for my skin type, which is normal to dry. It's getting into that normal to dry. There's no way I could wear this in the fall or winter. No way. Um, in the summer months, I mean, I can't use it anyway just because it broke me out. So I wanted to let you guys know that this retails for $52. That's why this joker is going back because I spend too much money in Sephora to like keep this this will like collect dust and it will be that's the reason why they have their return policy I don't abuse it but this has to go back and so that is what I picked up in the store now what I picked up online is the Jackie Ina palette I know a lot of people that is that's a controversial palette but so to the wood okay because that palette is good I swatched that and the formulation of it reminds me a lot of the soul shape palette that i have y'all and let's just be real okay jackie did an amazing job on that palette i haven't even put it on my eyes yet okay and i love the texture but i already like anastasia shadows so i'm not doubt doubting that i will love that one i'm already saying that i really love the texture i haven't put it on my eyes but I've been seeing reviews y'all and I got the palette okay I got the palette because I support Jackie I like Jackie I've met Jackie several times and what you see is what you get so Jackie girl I'm getting the palette um, I want to support um, positive she's done believe it or not the fact is Jackie has tremendously helped the african-american community in terms of representing women of color and i just don't want to say african-american let's say women of color okay people of color pocs okay out there you got to give her props because she has helped really voice hey y'all don't have enough shades in y'all foundation y'all this eye palette is it's ashy and let me just say this okay I know this is getting into I don't want to get this into a rant, but I have to speak my piece about this um, This is a palette that I really wanted to like this is in the balm of your hand and I Really appreciate Jackie coming out with something that is people of color Like prone. I am so happy that I have representation in this community And I think that's what is most important. So I'm getting the palette. I know that's why I'm having timestamps because if you want to zip through this, you can. But I'm telling you, the reason why I got the palette, I'm supporting my girl. I like Anastasia. That's enough. 
okay? I don't have to like justify anything else, but I'm just saying. I love representation and that's the reason why I'm getting the palette. I'm looking forward to more representation of things in the industry prone for people of color. That's what I'm just saying because we've been ignored long enough. So, and it is 2019. Come on, people. Okay, so anyway, let's go back to my car. I picked up the hemp seed oil. I'm really excited about getting that. That is the one product I got for my hair. It says you can use it for your skin, but not nine times out of 10, I'm going to be using some oils for a hair concoction, and that's one of them. Stay tuned for that. I also picked up the Dynamic Duo by Too Faced. That is their Hangover RX and their setting spray. And I got that for a bougie versus bargain. I also got the Jackie Ina palette for the bougie versus bargain and I also picked up the Fenty pro hydrating foundation I liked the pro filter but it was a little bit too matte for me so I'm really really excited and the girl and Sephora was like girl you gonna like this you like natural radiance you gonna like the Fenty and I like the Fenty brand I like what they represent I like it I like it I like it I like the formulation of their products and so far so good there's only been a few that I haven't been a fan of speaking of that um, the bronzer I'm gonna have to get a different shade because I wasn't impressed with caramel cutie not necessarily that I didn't like it um, I liked it more as an eyeshadow and then a bronzer and so my girlfriend was like girl I think you'll like what is that not nah, there's one after caramel cutie I can't remember. Anyway, I'm gonna get a new shade of the bronzer and see what I like. If you have any suggestions about the shade that I should get, comment down below and let me know which shade I could get or I should get. But that's all I got from the Sephora VIB sale. Unfortunately, Kevin Aquan is going back. I'm so sad, but $52, y'all, I can't be wasting no more money, okay? That will go back and maybe I'll just hold on to that. Nothing appeals to me at the moment. I might get the Anastasia foundation. If I do, I will come and let you guys know it. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Thanks so much for watching you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Don't forget to check out my latest video, you guys. You'll really enjoy it. I hope you come back and I'll see you next time.